Welcome to our introduction to graphic manipulation for our computer science course. Uh, we're going to start off with just the basics of GIMP. And what we can see here is GIMP opens up in three different toolbars. We have our main working area, our layered area, and our standard toolbox over here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to import a picture. The first picture that we're going to import uh, is this uh, picture of a sunflower. You're going to see that link in the uh, description for this video for the access to this photo. And we're going to uh, import that. So the tools that we're just going to explore really quick, the first one is our uh, crop tool. So we're going to come up here. And what the crop tool allows us to do, it allows us to draw around it. We can manipulate or change our corners. And when we have the image set, uh, we tap in the middle and it allows us to cut or crop that tool. I'm going to go control Z to undo that. The other thing I'm going to show you is our scaling. So I'm going to click on here and we can notice here I can do default by changing my height and width. Again, remember that this is in pixels. So as I drag this down, again, I can uh, then scale this image and we can see I can then drag it out and scale again. The one thing that you're going to notice is as I scale this down and then scale it back, uh, I lose pixels, so the image isn't as brilliant as it was before. So that's something we have to remember, is that if we scale something down, not to immediately uh, scale it back up, rather to hit that Control Z to get that original image so we can get that brilliance there. Because again, when we're scaling something, we're compressing those pixels and then uh, opening them back up. And just to show this, then I'm just going to scale this uh, a little smaller. I'm going to use my uh, crop tool and I'm going to crop here. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to come up to file. If it's a file I want to continue working on, I'm going to click save or save as. Uh, if it's a file that I'm done with, I'm going to click on export. And again, in this one, I'm going to export it as my JPEG file. So I would click export and we would export the actual file. If I save it as a project file, which is here, save as, we're going to see that XCF file. That means it's a GIMP file uh, that we can still manipulate, but it's not going to uh, be exported as that picture. So this was our very brief intro on just what GIMP looks like, how to crop and scale something. Uh, please look at the uh, next videos as we build our skills and